The new undisputed king has officially been crowned, Oleksandr Usyk, everybody. Now, I personally pulled for Oleksandr Usyk to win by split decision, and hey, it came true. Uh, it was a very good fight. Oleksandr Usyk started his body work early in the rounds. Tyson Fury started to get in his rhythm around round three, four, five, um, and things of that nature. But that showboating from Tyson Fury, I think that costed him a lot. You know, get busy. You're going for undisputed, get busy. All this over the top showboating stuff, you pay for it. And I've never personally been a Tyson Fury fan. If you look back at my old videos, I've always said he was very rangy. For him to be 6'9 and to let opponents get that close to him, in my opinion, doesn't really you know display a lot of, of tact for somebody who knows or who should know how to fight that tall you know but Alexander Usyk not to discredit him at all because right now as Bud said Terrence Bud Crawford said that Usyk should be a candidate for number one on the pound for pound list and I completely agree Usyk in a way in Crawford top three for me but yeah Tyson Fury he's been picked apart and for him to say what he said about the win, aside from him, of course, like every fighter does say, I thought I was winning the fight. But for him to say that the judges side sided with Usyk because his country is at war, that was some disrespectful stuff right there. Super disrespectful. Usyk just gave you that work, sir. Usyk just gave you that work, sir. He's giving you that work right there. And watch the judge or the uh, ref save you. The ref saved Tyson Fury, that should have been a TKO. Wave it off. Wave it off, ref. Wave it off. The ref didn't even start to count. Once again, Tyson Fury, I don't know whose cash app is getting greased, but beats the count some way, some miraculous, you know, fashion or whatever. But anyway, we've got a new heavyweight king. Let's talk about Emiliano Vargas. Very sharp competitor. Very sharp. Um, I'm impressed with this kid. I've seen him fight once before on top ranks cards. And yeah, he's very technical. Um, he stays in the action. He starts the action, counters the action. Uh, good body work with his combinations. And he receives a lot of hate from, you know, you casuals again. Talking about who is he fighting, cab drivers or whatever. Um, when he's displaying his showmanship. But you don't say the same when it comes to people like Ben Whitaker who goes out there dancing and being corny and over, over the top with his showmanship, quote unquote, but showboating. And they both only had seven fights in the pros. Emiliano Vargas is gonna be a problem. I'm very impressed with his skill set, And I look forward to his next fight. Very tactical, very technical. But let's talk about this kid right here. Brian Norman Jr out of either Atlanta or Decatur, Georgia. They kept saying Atlanta on TV, Decatur in the actual bio that was being shown. But for some reason, the uh, the San Diego crowd thought that Brian Norman was gonna, you know, be defeated. <clears throat> Brian Norman is very sharp. I've never seen this kid before. He's in the Southeast somewhere, you know, with me in this area. So I'm gonna try to link up with him and uh, yeah, see if we can make some things happen, you know, possibly an interview or whatnot. But the kid is very sharp, very sharp. A lot of tactical body work, a lot of counter work. You know, um, that right hand uh, uppercut to the body was there all night for him and he took complete advantage. You know, um, he liked to fight off the ropes. Super interesting. You know, uh, his countering skills allowed him to fight off the ropes and you know become an interim WBO champion fighting for the belts out here I like it I like this kid a lot and also let's go ahead and talk about Dennis Berenchik who finished out the closeout for the Ukraine the country of Ukraine they are on the run with Loma's win of the IBF um Alexander Usyk's win undisputed heavyweight champion and then here we go with him fighting uh Navarrete now there were a lot of shots missed here. So unfortunately, there are not a lot of clips that I could get where, you know, there are a lot of highlights because both of these guys have very, very awkward styles. I've always been a critic of Navarrete's style. He's super strong, but he's very 
you know, sloppy with his shots or whatnot, you know, and throws very reckless or whatnot. Um, Baron Chick has that style, you know, where uh, his head movement is pretty good. Not quite like Lomachenko because he didn't know how to capitalize off of creating the angles, but he stayed in the pocket with Navarrete, which didn't, which didn't allow him to, you know, get the range and the distance on the shots. He took a couple of nasty uppercuts or whatnot, but the country of Ukraine has had a run for the past few weeks. What do y'all think? What do y'all see? Let me know.